Hi. How are you guys doing? Happy Saturday. All right. So anyway, I was thinking about how the narcissist uses their children, young children, mainly young children, um, to gain supply, right? Um, it happened to me. Um, this video is not going to be that long, but I'm going to try to get through this quick enough. So what they'll do is basically they will flaunt their children and young children, by the way, in order to gain supply. This happens a lot with men doing it to women, but I'm sure vice versa, but really mainly men doing it to women. Um, because, you know, women will be like, oh, like, you know, you take care of your kids. Oh, it's a picture of your kid. And then they're in there like swimwear, right? So let me try to get this done. Um, with my ex narc, um, okay, let me, let me fast forward first. Let me just say, um, when the mistress called me, right, where one of the supplies called me, because it's not just one, right? One of the things that stuck out to me that she said to me was, yeah, he showed me a picture of your baby, and I was wondering why he, uh, she was so young, and he was already gone. He told me that you walked out on him and the kids drunk, and that you just never came back. This dumb bitch, I mean, come on, you don't even need to investigate that. Why the fuck, if I walked out on my kids, drunk, right, and him, why doesn't he have the children with him? And why would I walk out on my own apartment that I paid for by myself, on my children that he does not have with him ever, right, and just leave and all of a sudden he's this abandoned victim? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, he doesn't have anywhere to go, no job, none of that shit. And it's my apartment. I would not leave my own apartment to leave some dude. You know what I mean? Anyway, so, yeah, anyway, she didn't, like, um, even, that didn't even, like, hit her in the brain. I'm sure it's, like, this big, but still, that little walnut brain of hers didn't even think about, um, yeah, that's impossible for him never to have the children. Here we go, though. It made me think about when I first met the ex-narc, right? And about the third time we hung out, he was like, oh, you know, I'm a dad, too, because I'm a single mom. Or at least I was then and now we a single mom, right? But he was like, yeah, you want to see a picture of my kid? And of course, like as a woman, you're like, oh, yeah, like, let me see a picture. And it was like really good, right? And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. And then he gave me this sob story about how he's black and the child's mother is white and how um, for whatever reason. Now, I can't go into all the reasons because I'll waste this whole video. But anyway, for certain reasons the child ended up with um, her grandmother, right? Not his mother, not the narc's mom, but the young lady's mother, right? And he claims that because she's white and I'm black, the grandmother has a problem with me, therefore I cannot see my child because at the time we were having problems, so I signed my rights over to her and everything. And then the child's mother um, ditched out and moved to Mexico. So, same story, right, that he gave about me. The woman ditched him. He's the poor victim. He can't see his child. Pulling on your heartstrings, right? Bullshit. Bullshit. Later on, after the discard, you find out it's bullshit. They never gave a fuck about that child. They did some grimy shit that caused the other partner to roll out or what what have you, with or without the children. In my case, I stay with my children. Like, I don't have time for that abandonment bullshit. But it was all a lie. It was all a lie. But he showed me those images of his child to pull on my heartstrings, to get the sympathy that a maternal figure would obviously so openly give, right? Oh. 
That's a real low fucking demonic blow. Below the belt. And he did the same thing to me, right? For that new supply to say, oh, I saw a picture of your child and he said that you abandoned him. It was the same exact story that he had told me as a new supply. So fucked up. And she believed this shit. You know what I call that? I call that the puppy trick. Why did I name this move the puppy trick? Has anyone ever seen a really sexy guy or girl, whatever, whatever your preference, don't give a fuck, right? Walking a puppy and they approach you and ask for your phone number and they initiate like a conversation. And what do you do? You don't, like you normally would, you don't, your discernment is deactivated for a second. Where you would use that discernment to analyze this person to see what their vibe really is you're thrown off because what are you looking at you're looking at that cute little innocent puppy and you're like oh a big old strong man out here walking a puppy and he must be sensitive and oh man he's so cute like that's so cute oh my god here's my number right whole time that's this fool's girlfriend's puppy that's that bitch's man's puppy. Like, dude, not even their real puppy, right? It, and they use that cuteness and that innocence of this little small thing that's innocent. You know what I'm saying? That can't fend for itself. Like, look, I'm taking care of this innocent thing. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm amazing. I'm such a... Oh, there's a halo over my head. Psych horns like shit right and you fall for it because you're like well no one that could take care of something that innocent could be bad bullshit they're faking it not their puppy it's the fucking puppy trick and that's what they use their children's photos as or your children's photos as they know that if they whip that little innocent child's face out there and they go oh look yeah i'm taking care of them like i wish i could see them everyone's treating me so bad then you'll be like oh man oh my god let me i wish i could help you here's my number don't fall for the fucking puppy trick i fell for that shit but the next time you see that shit and i hope you don't see it again but if you do see that shit again don't fall for that fucking puppy trick. That puppy trick, that's set up to set you up to let your guard down. That's set up and shown to you to set you up to deactivate your discernment. That shit's set up to disarm you and your senses and pull on those heartstrings. Don't fall for that puppy trick. It's that I'm walking a puppy. I'm just an innocent dude walking a puppy. I'm just a hot guy walking this little puppy. Oh, my God. Yeah, give me your number. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me and this puppy just need a home. You know, we just need a... Right. Whole time you got a home, bitch. You got a whole bitch out there, bitch. She's probably at home cooking breakfast, lunch, or dinner, bitch. Y'all just fucked, bitch. And here you are with this little-ass dog that you don't give a fuck about. Probably secretly kick that shit when she's at work like shit. And you're not because you're a piece of shit. Yeah, that's how that works. Don't fall for the puppy trick. The narc will use the kids to gain supply. It happened to me. No shame in my game. Hopefully it didn't happen to you. But if it did, you know what to do. Drop it in the comments and let me know if you got hit with the puppy trick. Alright. Bye and happy Saturday. Alright.